Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get to today's video session. Here we go. Welcome back on the video session today, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Today's information is gonna be something interesting that you guys are gonna like today. Whoa! Yeah, how do you love our rock? You're amazing as always. Welcome back to today's video session, everyone. So, how are you guys doing today? Today, we're gonna be talking about Nintendo's history today. So, this uh, video session is on um, past, present, and future <laughs> what a coincidence isn't it so it's all about that which is interesting the way we guys come as well in this world but this is about nintendo's history not about us this is such an interesting prospect how successful the company really was and i feel that they've done really really big things Nintendo Company is the longest running video game company. It's been there since 1984 till today's date, December 2020, and of course for the future as well. It's an ongoing company, still, isn't it? It's done really well for its name. As a video game or video gamers who like Nintendo gaming all that. People are proud of them. The successes they have. We all should congratulate Nintendo because he's done the company has done really well for its name. Where we got games like Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Country. F Zero, Star Fox, Super Smash Brothers, Legend of Zelda, and so on. These are real top games, man. Alone, it's a first-party Nintendo games coming from themselves as well, which is a very a powerhouse of Nintendo. I would have to say. So let's get it into this video right away. If we look from Nintendo's history, right, the past, the past. We're going to talk about the past today. We are, if you look at still, if you don't believe me, you could check on Nintendo's eStore yourself. In there, you're still going to see Nintendo 3DS. It's still going on. Do you know there was a system called Nintendo 2DS? 2DS was a flat screen system which was without a 3D effect and Nintendo 3DS used a slider which was using a 3D effect real 3D graphics which was really important for the company to bring 3D without spectacles that's what the company was doing I mean some people thought it was good some people thought it wasn't that good it's a, it's a person's own choice because like it was something to do with the eyes, isn't it? If your eyes can't take that kind of effect, then you're not gonna like it, are you? But the good thing about this system was the slider. When you turn, when you turn it all the way down, it should turn off. So let's look at Nintendo's past history. Right, Nintendo 3DS. Let's go backwards. Okay, Nintendo DS. 
Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you look at all these systems, wow. Every single one of them has been successful. All right. But if you look at the past history, uh, especially from the 10 to 3 years, the big successes was Super Nintendo and Nintendo NES, the home consoles. Okay? These were the past consoles. If you look at Nintendo NES, let's verse versus the competition of it, how much they achieved. I'm not going to give you the sales figures, but who the competition was against. Right, the Nintendo NES was versus Sega Master System. Nintendo won there. Super Nintendo versus Sega Mega Drive. It won there. Oh, let me check it out. Game Boy Color uh, versus Need You Pocket Color. One there. Oh my gosh. Look what it does. It won. Uh, right. Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Engage QD. It won there. Nintendo DS versus Sony PSP. It won there. Nintendo 3DS versus Sony PS Vita. He won there. <laughs> all the past, his all his past is looking great, isn't it? It's really, really good, isn't it? Now, if you look at the past, right? The past was really, really strong for Nintendo. He won every single system in the territories man that's just insane I mean it kept on winning and winning now if you look at the present Nintendo DS right Nintendo 3DS right the handheld mode what was in these systems as I previously said in my previous videos as well That followed up to the Nintendo Switch. All right. Now the handled mold from Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS went to Nintendo Switch. The present is looking pretty strong, isn't it? Obviously, he had a screen, right? In there, and then you could, there was a stand that you could turn the system into tabletop as well. And then with the with the cradle, you could connect it to a television. How amazing is that? Basically, if we look at Nintendo Switch, it's a tablet, right? with G-Cons, the game controllers on the side. So basically, it's a handheld tablet playing handheld games. When you connect the G-Con controllers, the tablet in the middle, it turns into a handheld gaming machine. All right? But when you look at this tablet, right, at the back, there's a thing that comes out. And when you take that thing out, it turns that thing into a stand. And when you turn this thing into a stand, it turns into a tabletop mode. Another clever idea.
and then with the cradle you put the switch inside the cradle and if you look behind the cradle there's a HDMI port so you use the HDMI cable from the cradle to the television and voila you can play on television <laughs> check it out on screen the Nintendo Switch is 720p HD on television is 1080p HD all right so this is a pretty amazing system it does really well what it actually does it's got three modes in one system can you imagine a handheld system doing three things in one it's amazing isn't it really the present is looking really good following on Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS using the handheld from them devices to Nintendo Switch the startup of the Nintendo Switch is really a handheld mode but then he then the company added tabletop and TV on it as well this is a really impressive system it's a hybrid games console by the way that's why it's like that this can be for three different people or it can be for one person who can enjoy all these three things the choice is up to the customer or the person who buys it you got three different things in it the present of the Nintendo company with the Nintendo Switch is looking really really good I do have to say that the present also holds up to its powerful sales for two years this is what we're talking in present right now okay it's a three years old system and two years 23 months in a row it has been selling real really well each month beating the Sony PS4 and Microsoft Xbox one for two years now 23 months in a row and then beating the Sony PS5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X which is the 24th month and it wins again this is all the present news man this is really really impressive what is going on now let's look at the future what can we hold for the future the future is that the system we got right, right now it won't be available anymore it'll be gone okay it'll be gone the future is that Nintendo is upgrading its games console to more computing power and 4k high definition graphics all right this is the future we can see in the present he's already winning but the future is also telling us that the system will be really powerful we do not know the specs right now I'm afraid or we just know about this information let's just clear a bit more it will be a strong lineup of games okay more computing power 4k uh, yeah 4k high definition graphics better visuals this is what you can expect from Nintendo's future system these are the all interesting things 
a battery system. Also, all the different models will we have been getting for Nintendo Switch have not that been impressive. This is one of the more this uh, Nintendo Future upgrade game console is a serious gaming performance system man yeah the one which is coming in early 2021 this is Nintendo Switch serious high performance system yeah that's what's been said about it and which is very very interesting now we know the past present and future what holds us from Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, which is a past of. The present is the Nintendo Switch, which is a three-year-old system. And the future is the Nintendo's upgrade games console, which is coming in early 2021. So I hope this information has been very interesting to you guys out there. And you guys liked what I've been saying today. So it's very interesting to know what this company holds for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed my session for today. Give it a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.